Hey peeps, I see Cherry here. So I wanted to show you all the games that I own. So all the games that I bought on Xbox One. There's a ton of them. So let's start right now. So first, some of them might be uh, free from gold. Excuse me, little guy, you're in the way. Sorry, <laughs> my chase is in the way. Excuse me. Can you leave, please? I know you're beautiful and you want to show everyone, but... Okay, so... 10 Second Ninja 6180 The Noom Abyss The Rates of Eden uh, That's the only uh, Neo Geo I bought because I thought they don't look that fun and I was right, so... <laughs> Action Egg, Adam's Venture Origin, so this I just bought recently. Uh, it's kind of like, well, kind of like Tomb Raider, but not as awesome as Tomb Raider and not, not quite the same also. So, Agatha Christie, The ABC Murders, I, I era. So I won't talk to about them too much, or if I do, I'll make two videos because it's gonna take too much time. So this one, uh, it's stuck. I'm stuck somewhere, and I can't continue playing. So that's that's not great. I I don't want to start a new game because I played a lot. I might just finish the achievements I can do, and the one that makes me stuck somewhere. Well, I can't do anything about it so this I don't remember if I played much Adventures of Pip it's fun but it's hard at the end uh, Adventure Pop that's a free game I'm pretty sure like there's a few free games that you can get on the Xbox store so Adventure Pass this is really good I really enjoyed it it's funny it's it's very fun I wish they will make it I hope they'll make a second one so Agents of Mayhem, this is good too. I I don't com I didn't complete it, but I'm pretty close. This I don't know, or maybe it was free or with gold. I don't think I've played it. This one I bought for my boyfriend. I don't think I no I never played it. We played a little bit. This one I bought because I <laughs> I wanted to do a hundred percent achievements, but it's I don't like it. So this one I thought was nice, Ancestors, but mm, it's too, you know when you don't feel like, it's too complicated and I, I don't feel like I want to jump into this and you know it seems like it's a hard game and you have to calculate like a survival kind of thing, it's, I don't really feel like I want to play that. So this is a free game but there's no achievement. So. You'll know that I love achievements, so I don't buy games just for the achievement, except maybe for this one, but I like achievements, and sometimes I buy little games that look kind of weird and not so good, but not not because of the achievements, but because, you know, I think it might be still fun, but most of the time I'm wrong. So pa Pac-Man game... Uh, Okay, series, sorry. Galaga was part of the three games. Uh, it was Galaga, Dig Dog, and oh, I think it's probably those three actually. <laughs> they were together in a package. So, Anoxenia, I don't, don't really remember. Oh, this one made me so mad. It It's hard, and I'm stuck somewhere, and I keep dying, and I, oh, it drives me nuts. So, I know that I don't, I know the, or I don't know, I don't remember. This one's fun, but some achievements are really hard. So this one, uh, I thought it was be gonna be great, but I don't think I don't get it. So I don't know. I didn't play much. Yeah, I'll have to do two videos because we are already at four minutes something, and I'm not even close of doing all the games. So Army Grog, Krog, it's not good. Don't buy this. Army of Two, never played. Assassin's Creed. Of course, they're all good. Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I'll go there. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Probably got that one with gold or Game Pass. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's great. Origins is great too. Rogue. I'm not sure if I play that much. I have a lot of them, but... Uh, I, I played Black Flag a lot. 
too, but this one I'm not sure if I played. This one looked good, but it's not really good. So it's from, I don't know if you know, I think they never translated it in English, if I'm not wrong, because the comic books, I talked to English people and they never heard of it. So it's it's comics and comics book from, I mean cartoons in English, it's cartoon and comic books and they made a real life movie with, with the humans. It's funny, but the game is not good. Awesome P, I don't know, uh, you have to restart when you die and I'm not crazy about it. This was a free one, I'm, I think it's one of them, they stop, uh, like it's not playable I think anymore, so maybe it's this one or this one, Battle Rages, Battle Islands, I'm not sure. Battle Chasers Nightmare was good, but uh, I thought it was hard at, at times and I never did 100% of it. So Batman the Telltale series, I like Telltale's, I know it, some of you might say it's boring, but it's like watching the movie, but you get to do a little bit of stuff in the game, so I think I did 100% of this one. So Banjo-Kazooie, like, I got this one with Rare Replay, but I already played it on Nintendo 64, it's nice, I like it, everybody likes it. So Badland Game of the Year, I played a little bit, uh, but... Maybe it was free or something, I don't remember. I don't know if Game Pass games are in here. Probably not because I don't own them. So maybe this one was with Gold and I bought it. This one was free in the store because sometimes I, I download them, but you know, war stuff, not really my thing. Battlefield, I tried on PlayStation, but not on Xbox. I, I think it was the four, not the third. Battleships, I played, but it's not that great. Bayonetta, I never played. Free Simulator, I'm playing right now. I just bought it last week and I like it, but the the races are freaking hard sometimes. Like it's like you race you race against a jet and you're a snail almost. Like it's impossible. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but Ben 10, I played a yeah a bit. This was free, so it's an online game. I'm not crazy about online games, but I played a little bit. This, I think I was trying to do 100% achievements, so... Oh, I stopped reading the names, sorry. Blast and Bunny, sometimes I don't read the names. Uh, it was fun, but I think the achievements were too hard, so I stopped playing. Black Mirror, I played a little bit. Sorry if I talked fast. Beyond Good and Evil, I've played a little bit, but... I've tried to go back in it, but I didn't remember what was happening, so... I don't know, I, I didn't go back after that. So Bendy and the Ink Machine, I liked it, but I'm trying, you know the games when you try to do 100% achievements, but you have to look everywhere a million times, like you, you want to make sure you complete 100% achievements on one playthrough, and then you have to, you know, you're almost not, you're not stressed, but almost, because you want to make sure you don't miss anything, Sometimes like games like that, ugh, they're annoying. So I think I'll just play the game and whatever if I don't get all achievements because it, it kind of ruins it if you think too much about it. So this one was free. It's chariot game races. I don't I think I did hundred percent, I'm not sure. So Blood of Your Werewolf, I don't remember, I think it was hard. The Book of Unwritten Tales, that's one of the games I wanted to do 100%, but um, I missed stuff, so I'll have to to do another playthrough if I want to have 100% achievements. So Borderlands, I played a bit. I never completed any of the Borderlands games, so Bounce Rescue is a small little game, and uh, it's not that great so brave i did complete almost a hundred percent but i didn't complete it one achievement is too hard or it's broken or something so candleman was good one achievement doesn't pop so sometimes when it does that i open the game once in a while because they update it sometimes they they fix them and then when you open the game you get the achievement so this one I played a little bit. I should finish this one. I think I... Uh, so this is all the games I own. They're not all in my Xbox right now. But it's not. I should probably download it and 
Going on Paradise, I don't think I played it. Bridge Constructor, I played a bit. Brawlhalla, I'm not a fan. I played just a tiny bit. Brivland Trilogy. So if you want to have all the achievements, you have to play on hard. And I'm playing on normal and it's impossible to continue. I don't know. Uh, and there's even one achievement that says don't put the game at, on easy. But I mean, I'm on normal and it's pretty hard. So Captain Cat was uh, kind of fun at first but it gets hard and I don't know I never completed it I'm far in the game I think so carnival games it's kind of like the island one it's many games like uh, you can see basketball hoops and stuff it's fun cars 2 I think I play it's uh, any like any racing games battle crashers I played this and a lot like for me and I think it was a lot and I never got any achievement so I was like what there are achievements, I just didn't unlock any. So, Cast of the Seven Godsend, I don't remember. Castaway Paradise, I completed 100%. They said it's like Animal Crossing, and it kind of is. So, Castlevania, I don't think I've played all of it. So, this one's the second. Lords of Shadow 2. This is Lords of Shadow, the first one probably. Mirror of Fate. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. I played a little, but not that much. So Castle Storm, I played two. Castles, I, I remember, it was a long time ago. I should try to download it again just to see what, where I am. So Castle Invasion thrown out. Uh, I think I completed 100%. I, it's fun, but it's simple. Like the graphics are not like, ooh, super fancy. This one I played... Pfft, not even the first puzzle, it's, I don't know, I didn't like it. The cave, I played on computer, but I played on Xbox. I bought it on the Xbox because I liked it, but I don't know if the achievements are... Because I like achievements, so if the achievements are too uh, hard to get or something, some, or something, sorry, sometimes I just stop playing. Caveman Warriors, it was hard at first, but then I played... Again, I stopped and I started again, and I completed most of the game. It's okay. Uh, okay, so Deponia, I bought the whole collection. I think it's four or five games. I've only started the first one just a little bit, so this one's not the one I played. Child of Eden, don't remember, probably played it. Child of Light, I think I was stuck somewhere or an achievement didn't pop, so I stopped playing. So I have so many games that sometimes I stop playing without... It's not because it's not a good game, I just want to play something else. Costume Quest is fun, but I am not. I, I wouldn't want to play it again. It's a turn-based and... Pff, I don't know. Coffee Talk, it's, the achievements don't even work. So Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. So all the hidden object games from Artifacts Mundi and things like that. I love them because I used to play so many of them that's all I was doing when I was in high school like oh maybe before that even in an object games you can have for cheap or free on the computer I love them I played so much of them that so I was ecstatic when I found out that they were making them on the Xbox one with achievements I was like oh mind blown so I buy a, a ton of them they're expensive though they're like 12 13 15 18 dollars and they rarely go on sale and when they do they, they release like a packs of them so like three of them together but i already bought a few of them so like if there's five not five but if there's four there's four of them for like 15 dollars but i already already have three of them like it's not really worth it so I can't really buy a big package of all these games because I have too many. I'll stop it now, the video, and I'll do another one with the rest. So I'll stop. I'll start with Clocker. Thanks. See you guys.